Welcome to my vlog. Another beautiful day here in Los Angeles, California. And if you would not know that the pandemic is still going on, you wouldn't believe it because I'm on my way right now to Griffith Park. There's the old Los Angeles abandoned zoo. But check out what's going on on the freeway here. See, this is the 10 freeway going towards downtown Los Angeles. And it actually came to a still stand for a minute. Look how busy it is. Where are all those people going? Are those all YouTubers going somewhere making videos? When people watch my vlog, they often think, oh, Mike is always out and about. He having a good time. He never feels bad. This is not the case, okay? This morning I had one of those like uh, nervous breakdowns almost again. Is I'm, I'm thinking what's going to happen in the future? What's going to happen with my store? What's going to happen here? So it's not always like this, but I try to do the best I can. And when I'm going out on location, I always feel good. So I have to keep, uh, I have to keep my mind busy. Otherwise I would go crazy. I love driving here on the freeway, passing Los Angeles. It looks beautiful. Welcome to Griffith Park. This is our first stop. This is a really old carousel or what the Americans say, merry-go-round. There are some really cool facts about this merry-go-round here. It's been in a lot of movies and TV shows. Originally, this was built for a theme park, but in 1937, they decided to put it right here at Griffith Park. And people wonder, why would they put a carousel in the Griffith Park? The old zoo, which we'll be going later, is it's not that far from here. You can walk to the old zoo. So they got all the people from the zoo, or well, a lot of people riding this carousel. This 90 year old carousel has about 68 handcrafted wooden horses that go around. I tried to enter some pictures right here so you can see how it looks like. And there's one really cool story. Walt Disney used to bring his kids here to ride the carousel. Inside this uh, building, there is like a little bench where he used to sit. There's a picture of him sitting on this bench and the original bench is still in there. It's too bad that I can show you. And right here, I'm gonna insert also a picture. This is the ending of the movie Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito when they have twins. Both of them were carrying twins and the scene was right here behind this gate. You probably won't believe what I'm telling you right now, but you can look it up on YouTube. This is where James Dean had his first TV appearance. He was on the carousel, they were shooting a Pepsi commercial and the casting agent liked him so much that they decided to put him on the next commercial the day later. But right here is where James Dean got his first TV gig. It's unbelievable, huh? It has a built-in organ that plays over 1,500 songs. 1,500 songs. Also, there's barely nobody here. Here we are at the abandoned LA Zoo. All this behind me used to be a really old zoo. They opened up in 1912 and they closed it down in 1965. Even though it's abandoned, it doesn't mean that you can't come here anymore. People come here and do picnic here. And all this is also used on television shows and movies. The main scene, the ending, the ending of the movie was filmed right here. The Anchorman with Christina Applegate, Vince Vaughn, and Chris Farrell. I post a picture right here. One scene right here is with Starsky and Hutch. And another one is Chips, the TV show Chips, the police officer is riding on his motorcycle right next to those cages. German inventors got prepared to go deep into the caves with my light. Let's check it out. Those stairs are pretty steep. But I can tell already, there's a gate here so we can't get any closer up. Whoa. This area is pretty small here, but they used to have those bears in here. What my theory is, the bears were right here, but there's also a walkway up, you just saw it all the way to here, and maybe that's like a little station where they could sleep. 
And of course, you know, German in Venice has pictures to prove it. Here comes the first picture. See the ice bear? Right here. It's right here in the picture. They had an ice bear here and people just watching him. But all this, they filled up with sand before it went down a lot. And this was probably one of the first day when they opened up the zoo. The workers were standing right here. Somebody's pouring water on top of the ice bear. That was right here. I mean, I think it's cool. We're talking about 1912 open, so I don't really know when they took this picture, but I love it. There was water right here. Here's where the bear had a good time in the water pond. How come there was ice bears and regular grizzly bears in the same area? Do they get along? I have no idea. There's another area when you come right here. This is also locked up. This area is so small here. How could they have those big bears in here? Also closed. I just saw a park ranger up on top and he's telling people to leave. So I don't know how far I can go up. So I think this area was somewhere here. Can't match it up exactly. It smells pretty bad here. Not because of the bears, to some other people who lease themselves right here. Oh wow, this one is open. Let me see if I can crawl in here. Well, I guess that's where they let the bears go. Definitely. I love life. Look at all the graffiti here, perfect. Let me turn on my light. Wow, small cage, that's where they went. in. And he's the king and the queen chair. And look how small those places are. They probably had to sleep here at night. Even me as a big bear have a hard time climbing up here and it's so hot today. Of course people were here for 420. Where else would you go? See this is a little wire where you can pull up and close down the gate. Crazy to think at one time that there were bears roaming around here. Ice bears and grizzly bears. Back then, they didn't have too many animals here. The bears, they had a little elephant, turtles. They had about 15 to 20 animals at one time here. They have wolves, monkeys, bobcats, turtles. What is so sad is all those cages are so small. Oh no, they closed that area. Oh no. Should I go? Those are the cages from the back. I'm not supposed to be here. I think this is where I came up or... There's another cage coming here. I have no clue what they had in here. I couldn't find any pictures. I'm in. Whew. 
Whew. All little cages here. Also, not too much space. I'm not gonna crawl in there, it's too tight for me. I'm wondering how I came through this hole here. For sure, this is more workout than I thought. Look at this view here. Oh no, another hole to squeeze through. Am I gonna fit in here? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Are you serious, Mike? Yes, there was another cage here. I guess this is the area where they had those little monkeys and birds. I believe they had bears in here. This is the area I'm thinking. They probably changed the cages a little bit. Let's see, there's another bear in there. Now you can visit me, I'm an endangered species. I think those are the cages for the tigers. I found one picture here. That looks just like it. Right? Man, that place is way too small for a tiger. In 1916, they found out that the sewage from the LA Zoo goes straight into the LA River. And they didn't have enough money to fix it that's caused it a problem and they were about to close down the zoo but at the end they probably fixed the problem i found one that's a pretty big one Whee! quick hey buddy what's going on you doing push-ups there we go He's working out look at him seven eight nine come on five more one two three four five Damn, you're in good shape, buddy. <laughs> you just keep doing it. Yeah, you're right, you need exercise. I found another creature. It's pretty slow, this dude. Well, guys, that was it from the LA Abandoned Zoo. I wish I could have showed you some more, but some areas they're locked up with some locks and I was not able to go in there. Maybe one day I'm gonna do another vlog. I really hope you do enjoy what I was filming for you. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. I actually have a selfie right now, a stick. I can't really hit my phone, but you can turn off right now. The vlog is over. I said it's over. Just saying. Better listen to Mike. This vlog is over.